My name's Nate, and this is Heavy Pedal Garage. Today, we're gonna work on this 1975 gauge cluster and also the headlight switch. Now, this cluster will look similar for pretty much any 75 to 81 Firebird, but I would think this process would work for any GM gauge cluster of this era. So we've got it out of the car. We're gonna clean all these contacts with some white vinegar and the spades and everything. I'm gonna get some contact spray cleaner that's safe for plastic to clean the actual plug parts inside the console. These are your light bulb sockets that go in there. They all need clean. I've tested them and the connections aren't that good. There's a rheostat in here, the little spring winding. If you can see that down in there, that's going to need cleaned as well as the pad to be able to operate your dimmer. So take the time to do all of this before we put it in. I've checked all the bulbs. They're good. If you really wanted to go the extra route, buy new bulbs. There's LED kits and all kinds of stuff you can go with to make this a little better and brighter. The first thing we need to do is remove this electronic circuit board film from the gauge cluster. There's just a few nuts that you need to take off. Do this delicately as you don't want to damage the circuit board for sure. So once the circuit board's off, we're going to be able to use our white vinegar acid solution here to clean off these copper contacts. I'm just using a small acid brush and rubbing it in, and you'd be amazed at how fast this white vinegar takes off the corrosion. Okay, so you can see this is what it looked like originally, pretty corroded and dirty, and then that vinegar is really doing the trick, getting these cleaned up. So I'm just gonna keep on going on this, and then we'll work on the switch. So to get this switch cleaned up, I basically use my cleaning solution to clean the rheostat and the contact right there. Got that really cleaned out and then took this box off so I could get to these contacts and these contacts and then I applied a little bit of dielectric grease. So to put this back together, you just slide the box on. There's these two tabs that get re-pressed. And then on this copper fitting right here, there's a couple tabs that hold onto this prong. And I want to mention too, this little switch right here is what turns on your dome light. That needs cleaned. And then after I use my little acid solution, I rinsed it all off with soapy water, shot it with some WD-40 just to make sure we got all that acid out of there. Dielectric grease and then put it back together. Okay, so I've had all these connectors and all the bulbs because I'm going to reuse my bulbs and my screws for ground soaking in this vinegar solution. I've cleaned them with a nylon brush and now I'm just going to take a little screwdriver and flex these tabs in. Make sure we have good contacts and then I'm going to put them in some soapy water to neutralize the acid. So we're waiting on those sockets to dry we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have good solid ground. So I'm going to create a couple ground wire leads that are going to come off of the back of this. And we're going to use the two screw provisions, one here and one here. And we're just going to use our little fittings and make us some connectors that we can ground really well to the dash. So there we go. Can't hurt, can only help. And then this will go to the mount on the lower part of the dash below the steering column where the other grounds connect. We'll have good clean ground. So before we actually install the lights and sockets into the gauge cluster, 
Got me some 12 volt power going with some gator clips. We're actually going to check the connection, make sure all the bulbs work and the connections are good. When I tested these before I cleaned them, I only had one bulb, one, that actually lit up. And it wasn't because the bulbs were burnt out, it was because of those connections. So definitely want to test them before we go through the trouble of throwing it back in. Hey guys, so I'm working on this gauge cluster lens and I bought a, I think a turtle wax kit for headlight restoration. Did this by hand a while back and that was probably the best I could do. I'm working on the same stuff that I used for the clear coat. High cut, ultra speed with a dual action 20 millimeter throw. And then look at that. That's with just the 210. Sorry, the 110, I haven't even moved up to the polishing compound, so big difference. And there was even a really harsh blemish right in the center that I was able to get rid of. I dropped down to 400 grit and worked all the way up to 3000 and then hit it with the, the uh, 110 polish. So anyways, I'm going to keep going on that. I'll probably hit it pretty lightly with the 210 just to really get it going and we'll put it back together. Looking pretty good. I probably spend some more time with it. I still see some, some micro scratches there, but I think this will be good. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. We're going to get this gauge cluster installed. I'm also going to go through all the other switches and connections and all the wiring to get this dash back together and make this thing look sweet and ready for the road. Catch me next time.